Y'all ever have that one friend that like used to play Fortnite like it was his life? I'm talking all day, every day, and then all of a sudden he just randomly stops playing and then makes it his life mission to shit on everyone for playing the game? Well, take that and pump the intensity to a 10 and you get what happened recently with EDP calling Chris Tyson a pedophile. EDP, you know the guy, you know, he did that thing. You know what I'm talking about. Anyways, he called Chris Tyson, the Mr. Beast guy, a pedophile. Not even fucking with you. Like, he deadass said those exact words. And honestly, I love it. Because just imagining these two characters, and that's what they are. They are characters. They are both so fucking delusional that they honestly transcend being human. And it can only be described as, like, Looney Tunes characters. Anyways, thinking of these two characters fighting has got to be one of the funniest things I could possibly think of. This shit is like an epic rap battles of history matchup. We got on one side a fat, chronically online pedophile, and on the other, a transgender, chronically online retard going hand to hand. This shit's gonna be fire. Anyways, EDP released a video basically calling Chris a pedo and, and I don't know I just, I just want to watch it before we begin this just fucking amazing video I'd like to take a quick second to talk about my channel and like the content that you're gonna see um the videos that I make now are more just like broad topic scripted thought through videos and those are still what I really like making and I'm gonna continue making those uh they'll be posted on the same schedule every Sunday but the other day I posted a video where I just kind of reacted to something and uh, it was something I've never done before but I honestly thought the video was just fucking hilarious. And looking at numbers, you guys really liked it. So I'm going to try it out. Reaction videos are going to come out every Wednesday. Um, it's still going to have a script, but it's just going to be a lot less planned out. Uh, anyways, this video is the first one I'm trying. So please just give me feedback. And, and don't be a pussy. Okay, like if the video is bad, call it bad. I, I want to know. Anyways, back to it. Holy shit, man. So my motherfucking main Chris Tyson... Um, supports child Bro, eight seconds in, and this motherfucker already sounds like an idiot. Like, like, first of all, that is a bold-ass claim. Now, I don't know what the fuck he's talking about with the whole, like, child thing, so I'm gonna just skip past that. But my thing is, is like, dog, if you want to move past the whole you being a pedo thing, which you never will. I mean, let's be completely honest, but yo ass is trying. Anyways, if you want to move past that, maybe don't call somebody a pedo and your main homie in the same fucking sentence. Like, bro, if you don't like him, don't fucking associate yourself with him that hard. I don't know. I, I, I just think that the fucking use of main homie here is so fucking stupid. He's into that freak ass shit. We got to protect our youth. We got to protect our kids and our goddaughters and our nephews and our nieces and our cousins from weird ass freak motherfuckers like this, you feel me? Bruh, the shit that he just said would be like if Jeffrey Dahmer started a fucking neighborhood watch. Like, motherfucker, you are public enemy number one. Not Chris Tyson. Like, I honestly don't fucking like either of you. Y'all are both delusional. But on the fucking standpoint of being a pedo, you, a man who was fucking caught actually trying to meet up with a minor, has no room to shit on Chris. Like, honestly, I, I just don't get it. Um, if you guys don't know who the fuck Chris Tyson is, Chris Tyson is a transgender. I got nothing against gays. I got nothing against transgenders. If you want to chop your fucking You go right the fuck ahead. Whatever you do, that's your fucking decision. I don't give a shit. It ain't my fucking life. Why do I give a fuck? Bro, I I'm gonna have to just... I'm gonna have to censor all of that shit. That is, that was fucking gruesome. When you start having an influence on the kids, on our youth, that's where I got a big fucking problem. You know what I mean? Bro, the irony here is just fucking hilarious. Like, dog, you have an impact on the children. Motherfucker, you are the reason Amber Alerts exist. You are the reason parents tell their children to not talk to strangers. Like, my guy, do I need to remind you of some of the shit that you said to that 13-year-old girl? Man, I'm not even gonna read this shit. Like, <laughs> like I'm lucky my channel's not monetized, because this video wouldn't get a fucking penny. And so... Um, Chris Tyson, he hangs out with uh, Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast is the most popular, one of the most popular YouTubers out there with over 150 million goddamn subscribers. Holy fucking shit. Chris Tyson and Mr. Beast, they took a picture. I believe it's, I believe it's the Nickelodeon Kids Choice Awards or some bullshit like that. Chris Tyson, he was seen kissing his son on the lips. My, it's your son. Uh, <sighs> That me personally, that is some suspect ass freak fucking shit. Listen, 
l listen, I don't respect the man, right? He's a fucking pedo, but I'd be lying if it's yo son wasn't one of the funniest fucking things I've heard in my life. That reaction is just, that, that was fucking hilarious. What I'm getting the whole child shit at is Chris Tyson is friends with somebody named, I think his name is Shadman, Chadman, whatever the fuck his name is. And um, Chris Tyson and Chadman, Shadman, excuse me, um, they're into Lollycon. And if you guys don't know what Lollycon is, Lollycon is basically, basically my, um, the way I'm going to describe it, Lollycon is basically um, Japanese manga that is little kids um, getting Through um through anime Japanese manga and the fucking weird ass freak ass emo comic book type shits, you know what I mean? You know, like you get like the manga on um, the Japanese manga little comics and shit like that. You know what I mean? That's basically what the fuck Lollycon is. You feel me? Bro, I actually have no earthly idea what the fuck this guy's talking about. Like I like I believe it's a real thing, and it makes sense that his ass would know. But bro, that might be one of the most foul fucking things I have ever heard of. And if Chris actually is into this shit, which like I'm I'm honestly too lazy to fact check this, but if he is, that is some crazy shit. Like there's there's genuinely no reason he should still have a career. Hey, by the way, Lollycon is actually illegal in the United States. Any adult that supports this nasty ass, disgusting fucking shit, something is fucking wrong with you. Go get fucking help. Bro, I, I know I'm pausing a lot, but like, dog, this is such a weird video. Because if he wasn't known for being a fucking pedo, he'd be spitting facts. But because he is literally the freak ass motherfucker that he's talking about, he has just completely discredited every word that's coming out of his mouth. We got to keep our fucking kids and our youth away from motherfuckers like Chris Tyson and Shadman and whoever the fuck supports goddamn Lollycon. Bro, this guy is just deflecting. Like, I'm going to be honest. I really think the, the point of this video was to try and throw the hate that's on him at Chris, which it's like that might actually be the most retarded plan I've seen in my life. Like, motherfucker, even if this was real. And Chris was a pedo, which I don't think he is. But if he was, that doesn't just let you off the hook. Like, there's plenty of hate to go around. It isn't one or the other. It's both of you. This video did not have to be made. Like, And it's actually sad that you tried this shit. I'm not going to lie. I have a hard time getting my fucking... Bro, I'm gonna have to fucking mute that entire section because that was just foul. But basically what he said is that it's weird for adults to be able to get off to younger women. And that him personally, he has to basically watch granny p His words, not mine. He actually said granny p Bro, I wasn't sure about the whole deflecting thing earlier, but now I'm 100% sure that he's deflecting. This motherfucker is like, hey, hey, look at this Chris guy. He, he likes kids, but not me. No, no, guys, I like grannies. That's a complete opposite. Don't even worry about how I tried to meet up with a 13-year-old. That doesn't exist. Look at this guy. He, he kissed his son. Like, bro, stop fucking coping and get off the internet. Like, motherfucker, you do not belong here. You're fucking insane. I just don't understand how adults get off to little kids. Man, you, you know what? I ain't even got to say it. You know what I mean? Um, 10, 11, 12 years old, this motherfucker Chris Tyson... He tweeted a fucking, um, he retweeted Chadman, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong. He retweeted something that said, damn, she looks good for a four-year-old. It's like, bro, what the fuck is wrong with you, my n***a? Like, are you fucking, like, are you, obviously you're fucked in the head. Alright, I'm skipping a few parts, because all it really is is just fucking nonsense. Going back to the whole Lollycon thing, I just don't understand, like... How grown ass men, grown ass adults, get off to little kids 
You feel me? Yeah, man. I, I agree fully with like the words, right? Like what you're saying is fully true. It's right. But the person, motherfucker, you are the grown ass adult that gets off the kids. You are the exact person that you're talking about. Not Chris Tyson. Motherfucker, this video is about you. Like I could say you're disgusting and a terrible person, but you're doing it for me. Depictions of little kids. I don't give a fuck if it's, oh, well, it's Japanese manga. And it's comic books. You can twist and you can turn that fucking shit however fucking way you want to fucking turn it, my to make you, to make you not look like a goddamn freak. Nah, nah, I'm in it here. I'm fucking tired of this shit. This is the most delusional fucking ironic video I have ever seen. EDP, stop throwing the blame at Chris, man. You need to seek help. Yeah, I agree that Chris has a negative impact on the youth. I do. I think that anybody that delusional has a negative impact. But motherfucker, you are a much larger impact. You are a fucking freak, dog. And also, bro, why does your ass have to be so fucking graphic? Like, I'm actually about to be up all night censoring your ass. Honestly, normally I'll tell y'all to go watch the original video, but on this one, just don't. Okay? Don't. Anyways, sub to the channel, and let me know if you guys like this type of content.